Item number SCP-2727 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Each entrance to SCP-2727-1 is to be closed off upon discovery, and the preceding area search for instances of SCP-2727-2. Instances of SCP-2727-2 are to be terminated on site if found outside of the area containing instances of SCP-2727-1. Testing of SCP-2727 is to be approved by at least one Level 4 personnel. In incidents in which instances of SCP-2727-2 become hostile, each known entrance to SCP-2727 are to be guarded by at least three security agents until all hostile activity ceases. Description: SCP-2727-1 refers to various models of subway trains located inside several subway stations across the island of Greece. Instances of SCP-2727-1 have been found to have station entrances throughout the island. The interior of the subway stations resembles those from the late 1950s. The boarding area for instances of SCP-2727-1 have been measured to go as far as meters in length. The subway stations have been recorded to have support pillars every 15 meters in any open direction. SCP-2727-2 refers to humanoid individuals found inside SCP-2727-1 and the subway stations. Instances of SCP-2727-2 typically resemble Homo sapiens, but lack any facial features. Instances of SCP-2727-2 are typically docile. During times when an instance of SCP-2727-1 is present within the current subway station, large amounts of SCP-2727-2 will enter SCP-2727-1, while an equal amount of SCP-2727-2 will exit the instance of SCP-2727-1. During explorations of SCP-2727-1, SCP-2727-1 has been recorded to move to other stations not on the island. Train stations explored by SCP-2727-1 have been shown to be vastly different, including architectural and anomalous changes. Changes include station architecture matching that of Gothic work. Several holes of various sizes along the walls, ceiling, and floors of the station. Station being made entirely of osteocytes, human bone. Station walls, floors, and ceiling being made entirely of what appeared to be pig flesh. Station containing no instances of SCP-2727-2. It was noted that no instances of SCP-2727-2 left SCP-2727-1 during the stop. During explorations of SCP-2727-1, instances of SCP-2727-2 change shapes and sizes, including Instances of SCP-2727-2 were reported to change into humanoid creatures similar to Suscropa domesticus barn pigs. It was noted that instances of SCP-2727-2 become increasingly hostile during this time. Instances of SCP-2727-2 were reported to become invisible inside SCP-2727-1, despite instances of SCP-2727-2 being visible outside of SCP-2727-1. SCP-2727-2 instances were reported to be invisible. Clothing worn by SCP-2727-2 was not affected by the change. Incident Report 2727-1 Instances of SCP-2727-2 became hostile, attacking security guards and attempting to exit the station. Hostile instances of SCP-2727-2 were terminated immediately. Approximately 15 minutes later, an instance of SCP-2727-1 came into the station. Fifteen instances of SCP-2727-2 proceeded to carry deceased instances onto SCP-2727-1. Exploration Log 2727-1 D-203583 is a year-old Asian male average build. D-203583 has no previous remarkable psychological background. D-203583 is equipped with a camera fitted with a transmission stream and an audio headset. Doctor was observing the exploration and providing instructions for D-203583. 
D-203583 is instructed to enter one of the stations. Seventeen instances of SCP-2727-2 are seen inside the station. No instances of SCP-2727-1 are visible. Nothing is here but those faceless things. Please wait in the general area until the train arrives. Doc, I don't think a train runs through here. There isn't even a map of the routes here. Irrelevant. D-203583 stayed within the station for approximately 15 minutes before an instance of SCP-2727-1 appeared. Seventeen instances of SCP-2727-2 were recorded to leave SCP-2727-1, and sixteen instances were recorded to get on SCP-2727-1. Please board the train. Alright, Doc. Where is this thing going? That information is irrelevant for your current task. D-203583 proceeds to enter one of the passenger cabins for SCP-2727-1. Forty-six instances of SCP-2727-2 are visible. None of the instances of SCP-2727-2 are recorded to be sitting down, despite proper seating being available. Do you want me to just stand here with these things? You may sit until the next destination is reached. These things aren't moving, Doc. Are they alive? They have vital signs but are not sapient. SCP-2727-1 was stationary for six minutes before moving. SCP-2727-1 continued moving along the path for fifteen minutes along an illuminated round tunnel. After fifteen minutes, all lights within SCP-2727-1 stopped functioning for approximately nineteen seconds. When lights became functional again, instances of SCP-2727-2 resembled humanoid members of the species Sobscrofa domesticus barn pig. Instances of SCP-2727-2 had no facial features. D-203583 reportedly became panicked. What the… happened? They look like… pigs. They do that sometimes. Sometimes? As in, they don't always do it. SCP-2727-1 came to a halt, and fifteen instances of SCP-2727-2 exited SCP-2727-1 along with D-203583. Sixteen instances of SCP-2727-2 were reported to enter SCP-2727-1. SCP-2727-1 was reported to leave two minutes after D-203583 exited the instance. The station appeared to be made entirely out of pig flesh. Support pillars appeared to be made out of bone. Twenty-two instances of SCP-2727-2 were recorded to be in the station. Jesus Christ. It smells like someone's cooking hot dogs. Noted. Can you see an exit? D-203583 began walking towards the far wall of the station. A slanted hole in the wall, leading to a brighter area, was recorded approximately 19 meters ahead of D-203583. I think there is a hole outside, but no stairs. Please approach the hole. D-203583 proceeded to approach the hole. Three instances of SCP-2727-2 are recorded to follow D-203583. Doc, a few of these things are starting to follow me. Noted. Please exit the station. D-203583 exited the station. Audio shows that an instance of SCP-2727-1 was inside the station during this time. The outside of the station was covered completely in pig flesh. A green smog covered visibility and prevented sight beyond approximately 16 meters. Approximately 40 instances of SCP-2727-2 were outside of the station and within sight. No geographic features were recorded during this time. Six instances of SCP-2727-2 began moving towards D-203583. Doc, more of these things are coming towards me. It has been noted. Please move the camera so we can… Doc, the ones inside the station are starting to run. Video feed confirms that seven instances of SCP-2727-2 were running out of the station towards D-203583. Confirmed. 
Please remain calm. D-2035-83 does not reply, as seven instances of SCP-2727-2 begin bludgeoning him with their fists and heads. An additional three more instances of SCP-2727-2 approach D-2035-83 with large stones. D-2035-83 was heard cursing in Mandarin and begging for mercy during this time. The new instances of SCP-2727-2 proceeded to bludgeon D-2035-83 to death. Exploration Log 2727-2 D-2035-84 is a year-old Caucasian male average build. D-2035-84 has no previous remarkable psychological background. D-2035-84 is equipped with a camera fitted with a transmission stream and an audio headset. Doctor was observing the exploration and providing instructions for D-2035-84. D-2035-84 was instructed to enter one of the stations. Approximately six instances of SCP-2727-2 are inside the station. An instance of SCP-2727-1 is seen. Please board the train. What about these faceless things? They are not relevant. Please board the train. D-203584 boards the instance of SCP-2727-1 along with two instances of SCP-2727-2. It is estimated that three instances of SCP-2727-2 left the instance of SCP-2727-1. Approximately nine instances of SCP-2727-2 are present within the instance SCP-2727-1. Please wait until the destination is reached. Where is this thing going? That information is not necessary for your objective. Doc, there's a poster in this thing. I can't read it. Confirmed. Please steady the camera on the poster. D-203584 adjusts the camera to show the poster. The poster contains seven instances of SCP-2727-2, along with the Russian words, which roughly translates to, The Good Men. Thank you. Please inspect the train car for items of similar nature. D-203584 searches the train car for approximately nine minutes before finding what appeared to be a small journal and a brochure. Instances of SCP-2727-2 did not acknowledge D-203584 during this time. SCP-2727-1 begins moving at this time. Doc, I found this journal. How many pages are written in the journal? D-203584 is heard flipping through the pages. About five. What do you want me to do with it? Please hold each page in front of the camera long enough for stills to be taken of each. D-203584 proceeds to do so. Refer to Document 2727-1 for journal entries. At this time, the instance of SCP-2727-1 stopped. The doors of the train car open, and thirteen instances of SCP-2727-2 rush towards D-203584. Instances are shown to be equipped with gas masks from the late 1920s and munitions used during the 1920s. D-203584 is dragged from the instance of SCP-2727-1 before video feed cuts off. Document 2727-1 January 21, 19 They took Bill's eyes today. Sewed what was left shut. He's a businessman. Why the- Are they torturing him? He stopped screaming lately. I thought they removed his voice box until he asked me where God was. John stopped begging on the door after one of them opened it and hit him with the butt of its gun. Whatever these things are, they aren't human. Bill is really calm considering what happened. Must be in denial. I feel sorry, the guy. He was never told how he got here. John was pulled from his platoon, and I was taking a piss when they got me. Damn Russians. January 25, 19 They took Bill again. Last time they took John's fingers. I felt bad for Bill. He had the worst so far. We didn't hear much screaming. He came back and didn't talk. I left him alone until I heard him humming. He looked up with his sewed up eyes, and I almost vomited. They took his mouth. February 3, 19 B 
Bill's been gone for about two days now. John's convinced they killed him. I don't think they are that merciful. I thought about killing Bill before they took him last time, just end the misery, but he didn't hear a word I said. He just sat there, bald, blind and mute. I think they closed his ears. February 9th, 19 Bill's back. They took the stitches out, shaved his eyebrows too. They must have done a flesh graft. I can't see where his eyes or lips were anymore. He just sat against the wall next to the door. I can't figure out how he's breathing. John said he breathes through his ass now. It was just a joke, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was true. They gave him new clothes, just like his old ones, but not covered in his own blood. He looks like one of those mannequins in a store. February 19 They took Bill again. About an hour later they took John and I out, blindfolded us and stuck us on a train. It's been moving for a while. Bill was standing way back. He hasn't moved in a while. John just sat down. He's had enough of this bullshit. So have I. I lost track of what day it was. I think it's February. The doors open and things that looked like Bill got on. About five on them. John is freaking out, saying they turned Bill into one of those things. Oh god. They look like pigs. 